Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Dark Souls 2, Scholar of the First Sin. Uh, my name is Brian, your host and commentator, and of course, here we are at the, uh, I don't know why I said of course, but uh, here we are at the, <laughs> I can't remember where, the Hag Hut, that's what I'm going to call it. Anyway, I'm going to reallocate some of my points, I want to finally show this off. This is what they're dropping to, I'm going to try and do... This is what I'm going to go for. Something like this. Actually, this might be too much. I don't know. Oh, man. I hope 15 is enough. I want to... I, I want to... I'm trying to get rid of these three points in intelligence, so... This is going to be a huge drop to my strength, though. I could probably... You know what? Just to be safe, I'll keep this at 16, because I know that keeps my equip load good. I don't know if I drop at one point, if I'll be able to, I don't know, like, maybe I will. It's only one. Yeah, okay, I'm going to put that at 15. And, no, nah, I'll keep it at 16. <laughs> I'm just worried about it. Okay, this is at 18. This was at 10. So what if I bump that up to 15? Throw a few more points into strength. Maybe if I do this. Does that look good? Actually, I think I would rather... I'm going to keep the health boost. I'll take a massive stamina boost. You know what? Here, I'll do this. Put this at 25. I'll basically switch in those... Like, I'm putting four points into endurance, I guess, is, is what's going on here. Anyway, let's go ahead and confirm this. That way I don't have three wasted points in my... For my intelligence. Gotta go this way. Alright, okay, so now we're going to go ahead and travel back to the Lost Bastille. we got to go to the Servants' Quarters, because we're going to explore the Belfry Luna, take care of that. This might be actually kind of a shorter episode. <coughs> and just a heads up. Just a heads up. We do have a boss fight that we are going to encounter. We're actually going to start by climbing on down this thing. Slide on down. I don't think there's really anything in these. Oh, jeez! The fuck? Now I'm cursed. Wow. I didn't know that guy was down there. Holy shit! I just got my ass kicked. I was just breaking barrels, and he's like, by the way, I'm here unbeknownst to you okay I don't know what cursing does in this game I don't do you just lose health is that it is that all I is that what happened I don't know I need to use a human effigy though there we go I think you just lose I think it just makes you lose max health I guess. <laughs> I have no fucking idea. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and use this uh, life gem here. Alright. Dickhead. Round two. Probably going to go... I'm going to kill him and then go back up there and heal. It's probably going to be my plan. Fuck. Come on with your combos and shit. Oh, that was cool. Oh my god, dude. <sighs> Alright, if I die again, then I'm going to have to do some editing. The only reason I'm not is because I feel like this is going to be maybe a quicker or a shorter episode. So I'm just going to sit here and talk to you guys for a little bit and chat. <laughs> this is stupid. Anyway, uh, I'll get that motherfucker. Don't worry. So yeah, um, some people might not know it, but I added my Instagram and Twitter to the channel up at the uh, channel art. It's what I did for my three-year anniversary. Oh my goodness, really?
Oh, really? Come on, man. Fuck, dude. Yeah, it looks like you just lose some of your max health. I was like, shit, that was probably a bad time to heal. Let's heal again. Oh. I will say my character does have some poise. Really, man? So you did that to both of us, dude. That was all you right there. I did the first one. I don't even think the first one hit him. his ass. Got your bitch ass. Finally. Jeez. Every time I ran into that guy, he kicked my ass, but... Ooh, Twinkling Titanite. Took care of that shit. Pronto. Oh, please don't be a trap. Please don't be a trap. Woo! Priest's Chime. You chiming? Oh, I don't have a Pharaoh's Lockstone. Shit. <laughs> well, fuck me. Um, I don't know where to get a Ferris lock stone. I'll be right back. Okay, so I had forgotten that on my practice playthrough, I uh, went and snagged this uh, Pharaoh's Lockstone over here that's hiding in the the well here in the middle. Um, this is uh, <laughs> it's going to be a pricey one because in order to get it this early on, we're going to need to talk to this cat merchant here and buy the Silver cat ring, which is 13,400. It's going to be an expensive Pharos Lockstone, but it's going to grant us admission to the Belfry Luna. Now, I got, you know, like, I think it was like 6,000 souls or whatever for killing the Pursuer, so that was cool and dandy and all that. And then I used a few souls to get up to the, the rest of the amount that I needed. Um, I guess I'll just replace this with it really quick. Make sure you're kind of at full health. I'm, I took a little hit there, but hopefully I'll survive this fall. Oh, God, here we go. Ooh. Alright, so we're going to pick up this Radiant Life Gem. I'm going to heal. Going to heal fully. Alright. We'll drop down this one. Eventually you can build ladders here. Pharos Lockstone. There we go. Now, I don't think I really want to go any further because I'll probably die. Yeah. Fuck that. Alright, let's use a homeward bone to get out of here. Return to the last bonfire we were at. And now we have that Pharaoh's Lockstone, and we can get into the Belfry Luna. Totally forgot about that, but that's fine. You also might not be able to get it if you don't have enough health. This is assuming you have enough health to drop down there. I mean, you saw how much damage it did. I don't know if armor, like, has anything to do with that or not. So anyway, now that we took care of that, and we took care of the fucking Pursuer, we can go ahead and enter the Belfry Luna. That's what I'm talking about. It's going to be a good time, folks. A good time. And, uh, oh yeah, before I got killed by that, <laughs> by the Pursuer, and I was talking about my Instagram and, whoops, Twitter profiles. Yeah, I added those for my three-year anniversary, so that's kind of what I did there. Uh, I know people have been sort of, a few people have been asking for, like, a face reveal, so I didn't want to, I don't really have a camera to record on or anything. So I just kind of, like, that's my way of doing a face reveal, I suppose got everything in here right yes we did we did get everything in here all right well, let's go ahead and open up this passageway Ooh, the belfry luna don't fall down there beautiful i love it what's this guy have to say fog wall by the way back by the way back whoa what the hell is going on a lot of little dudes we got ourselves a npc here Stay back. 
back and we slice, slice you to bits. You my chums, we shan't be miffed. <laughs> shan't be miffed. covenant and join the bell keeper hell yeah join this covenant snag another achievement or trophy I like achievements better even though I don't care about him <laughs> I just like getting him Alright, so basically, yeah, when someone is walking around the bell tower, you'll get summoned here. Is that? Yeah, okay. You get summoned here to kill them. To protect the bell, essentially, and to kill other players that are here. So anyway, let's go ahead and head on up these stairs with this other phantom guy. Got ourselves this guy. I don't know what the hell these things are, why they're like that shade of like metallic black. But, you know, it's, I don't know, they're bell keepers, I know that. Got ourselves some Skeptic Spice, another one. That'll be handy once we start to uh, use Faith spells. I don't know when we're going to do that. Probably pretty soon. i got to wait till I, I don't know, i got to figure that shit out still. Probably like the Earthen Peak, maybe, area is when we'll start doing that. I'm keeping it kind of basic right now. These guys are really easy. Alright, we got ourselves a boss fight on the other side. We gotta raise that gate though, and I'm pretty sure I think there's actually a phantom in this is it in this room? That you can summon. Maybe it's on the lower floor. Yeah, here it is, okay. So you can summon a phantom right here, Masterless Glencore. Did he help us earlier? I feel like he did. I feel like he helped us during the, uh... Did you help us earlier? During the, uh... I thought he helped us during that Dragon Rider boss fight, but I could be wrong. Or some other boss fight. I feel like he helped us earlier. I can't remember, though. Maybe it'll come to me. Alright, let's shoot on up here. Oh, something else we gotta do while we're down there. We'll handle that in a minute, though. Wow, they did a lot of damage. Owie. Yeah, get him, Glencore. You don't want to aggro too many of these guys. They're all over the place up here, so make sure you just kind of take them out systematically. These guys take five hits. The other ones are taking four. I don't know why. Make sure you grab this other Skeptic Spice. I have three Skeptic Spices now. Or we do if you've been following the walkthrough. Alright, let's go ahead and open that gate. Ding dong. The witch is dead. Twilight Herb Radiant Life Gem. So I just want to make one more quick round before we head down. Round before we head down. I'm rhyming over here. Busting rhymes. Did I check behind this one? Alright, cool. Alright, that's everything. Let's uh let's slide on down. Slide on down. Woo! Oh shit. One of these guys fell down here. It would appear. Oh, get out of here. Alright. Let's go do that last thing I was talking about. 
Hopefully Masterless Glencore won't disappear. All right, we need to drop through here. No bad guys? All right. So here's the entrance right here where you talk to the that bellkeeper to join the covenant. You got to drop through that hole. Blue tear stone ring. Nice. Oh, I got to change my ring back, too. I don't want to be walking around with a silver cat ring all game. Or for this boss fight, for that matter. Another skeptic spice. It's four. Holy shit. Okay, um, let's change you back to the... Let's see the... Where is it? Blue tear stone ring. Increased defense when HP is low. I'll take the chloranthi ring and get a quicker stamina regen boost. I would prefer that. Use a life gem before this boss fight. Make sure I'm all maxed out. In my health. And let's get in here before Masterless Glencore disappears. Not trying to have that. Especially during this boss fight. Get in here, Glencore. Jeez. I was like, I'm not doing shit to these guys, but I forgot that they like collectively have a life bar. So that's why I wasn't doing shit to them. I think another one, yeah, third one joins the fray. Whoa. I think upwards of like four of them will join. If you get the health bar low enough. Let's kill this one. Take care of him real quick. Ooh, Glencore's almost got that guy. He almost got that fool. Let's get his butt kicked though. Oh my god, I almost died. Heal again, heal up. Alright, Glencore. Let's kill this one first. He's got lower health. Help me, let's focus on one. Oh shit, another one. I didn't realize there were five. Oh my god. Alright, keep distracting them. Hang in there, bud. He's so dead. He gonna die. That's okay. He survived long enough to make it a 1v1. Good job, Glencore. It was a 5v2. Not bad if it ended up 1v1 in the end. Oh, shit. Apparently, Homeboy will wreck you from behind. over, fool. Don't delay the inevitable. I'm out of potions, too. Where'd he go? There we go. Fuck you! All of you. Eat it. That's what I thought. Belfry Gargoyle Soul. Give me that shit. That's what I like to see. Alright. Woo! So we protected the bell. Let's go ahead and snag this item. Hurrah for bravery. Soul of a proud knight. I think it's worth about 2,000 souls. Let's see what's down here. Dropping on down. Southern Ritual Band. What the hell does that do? Allows a two-minute of a diff Oh, it gives you another... A two minute slot, I suppose. That would be my guess. Got ourselves another bonfire over here. There's so many fucking bonfires. Oh, actually, this isn't the this is not the Lost Bastille anymore. This is the uh, forgot. This is the Belfry. My bad, jumping, jumping ahead of myself. Oh shit, we got a lot of dogs. Oh jeez, it's okay though. I think I kill these. Yeah, I kill these guys in one hit. This won't be a thing, don't worry. Oh, shit, a dark spirit. I was not ready for that. Oh, God. Get up here. Ah! Uh, let's grab the enchanted falchion. This reminds me of the, uh... Feels a lot like the, uh, Capra Demon fight in Dark Souls 1 where you got, like, the stairs and the... everything. Luckily, if we die, we can just respawn back at the bonfire, so that's good news. 
Looks like that guy's fighting Vulgar Borgel Sinner as well. Oh, this guy's weak. This guy's good. Oh, he's gonna be so easy. There we go. Backstab your ass. It's over, dude. It was over before it even began, my man. Oh, Borgel the Sinner has been vanquished. Dragon Tooth, Petrified Something, Bright Bug. Human effigy, that's what we get from him. All right, cool. So we cleared out that, cleaned house. I think we're actually done here at the Belfry. Told you it's going to be kind of a shorter episode, less than like 20 minutes. Jeez. Maybe we can do a few things. Actually, yeah, let's do that. Uh, let's see, what can we do? Anything else? I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, I think we'll just go back to Majula. Maybe I'll do a little bit of upgrading on on camera for you guys. Not a whole lot, but maybe a little. Could also level up a little bit. Gain probably three levels or so from the boss fight and all those shenanigans we got into. All right. Force Titanite chunk. Um, yeah, Dragon Tooth. You need a lot of strength. Does a lot of damage though. That's cool. Curved Sword, Enchanted Falchion. That requires a higher dexterity. Yeah, I'm not trying to do that. I'm trying to keep it to the the Fire Long Sword. Some basic ass shit. Uh, okay. Ooh, I could. Upgrade the old night helm. I'm gonna wait on that actually. And I'm gonna upgrade the Dringlaic Mail. There we go. Since I have that twinkling tight knight from defeating the pursuer. That was a good boost. It was like 20 points or something like that. I feel like I should, because I don't know if I'm gonna get a better helmet anytime soon. Yeah, okay, why not? Might as well. I'm gonna live, live for the moment. Can I buy anything new from you? No, of course not. I'll be around. If I make it back. All right. I don't think I'm online, like, cause this account that I'm using on Xbox Live is a silver account. But I'm gonna go ahead and abandon this covenant just in case, so I don't get fucking warped to the belfry like while I'm in the middle of whatever, doing some. Gonna abandon that shit. Let's see how many covenants we got. We got three Way of the Blue, Bellkeeper, and Company of Champions. I'm apparently level one in Way of the Blue. Oh, I think I'm gonna go rejoin Way of the Blue, actually. So we'll do that, and then I'll level up, and then probably call it an episode. That guy looks kinda cool. Looks like me. Except he's got a, a different helmet. Oh, <laughs> I accidentally used the Hestus Flask. Not that it matters, I'm going to get it right back, but just thought that was interesting. Yeah. Oh, whoops. No, come on. I'm like doing it too quick, and it's not working. Getting all ahead of myself. All right, cool. So we got that. I think we're doing okay. Let's go ahead and talk to homegirl over here. Aw, I was hoping I had a shard or something. I guess I'll just level up then. Alright, let's see. What am I going to put my points into? Um, t -t 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 uh, I don't know. Let's get a little more stamina. I'll put one into stamina. I don't need to put any into vitality right now. So it's good. I got that squared away. Um, hmm. I guess strength and health. I don't know. I want to like the boosts to health and endurance. Like kind of drop, have a a dramatic like drop. Like you get like thirty points added to your health roughly for the first like 
Well, actually, it is 30. You get 30 points added to your health um, up until, like, level 21 or whatever or for your vigor, as well as, like, endurance. You get, like, two points up until level 20, and then you only get one point. So I'm kind of trying to get those to their max. I think I'm going to also use uh, – I should use that Soul of a Proud Knight so I can get that last level, too. I don't know if that's enough, though, actually. Oh, it is enough. Cool. Yeah, it was 2,000. Sweet. Could also use that petrified something at the uh, crow's nest. What should I add? I guess I could put it into health. And that way I don't have to worry about health. I won't be leveling that up anytime soon, past 20. Maybe eventually, but not for now. So like I said, the point boost is not as large or whatever. All right. I think I'm going to end the episode there, chilling out with this guy with a massive axe. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel. Next episode, we're going to head on over to, let me see actually, I think it's, uh, yeah, the Huntsman's Copes. Or Cops. I don't know how to pronounce that. We're going to head on over there next episode and take care of a bunch of shenanigans. So, thank you guys for watching, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.